się Was zapraszam do oglądania kolejnego odcinka na moim kanale. Mam nadzieję, że będzie Wam się podobać. Father, come now. You know who sired you. That doesn't matter now. I miss you, Amma. I miss you very much. You'll be fine. I'm proud of you. For what? I let you down. I lost the sword. I let that bastard get away. Don't be so hard on yourself. Okay. There was nothing you could have done to save us. Założone wielkie. And someone has to live and carry the torch. As for the sword, it's just a thing. You didn't want. Don't go. No. What on earth were you dreaming about? Couldn't wake you, and it's well past dawn. Sir Radzik wants you at the upper castle. The lords are in council with Yobs. Right. I'll go straight away. What is it? It's just... I don't know how to address you anymore. All of a sudden, you're Sir Radzik. Próbowało się nas na A nie wyklan. Epilog. Przybyliśmy. Ah, how? Are you going to the meeting with Margrave Jobst as well? I am. What about Istvan? I assume that we didn't catch him? No. Because if we had, you'd be the first one to know. Have no fear. We'll get him eventually. I hope you're right. Anyway, let's go and see what Yobs wants from us. My lords, Christ's blessings on you all. And on you, Lord Gaben. And this is my son, Henry. I didn't know you had a son, Sir Redzig. It came as a bit of a surprise to young Henry, too. <laughs> this gentleman here is John II of Liechtenstein, a member of my council. I'm honored, gentlemen. Come join us. Our grave Jobst was just about to tell us the reason for his visit. Your Grace. I'm sure we're all agreed, Your Graces, that all this unrest must come to an end. This kingdom needs a king. Question is, which king? My cousin, Wenceslas IV, who is being held in captivity. I have to confess, my lord, that your answer surprises me a little. If I'm correctly informed until recently, you sided with your other cousin, Sigismund. That I cannot deny, and I have always stated my position plainly, but... Times have changed. Mm -hmm. How they changed, your grace. Sir, there is one thing on which we undoubtedly concur. That King Wenceslas, unfortunately, did not inherit his father's gift for governing. Sadly, his failures have cost Bohemia, the nobles, and our whole Luxembourg family a great deal of money and effort. How did the king let it go so far, damn it? 
It's in his temperament. He cares only for wine, women, and the hunt. A king, in fact, who never wanted to be king. Then why didn't he just let his brother have the crown? Young son, the crown weighs heavy when there are duties to be performed. But to surrender it means giving up great privileges, too. But he did surrender power to his brother. When things started getting out of hand, Wenceslas appealed to Sigismund for help in restoring order. What you're saying, Wenceslas invited him here? This is starting to make my head spin. Actually, it makes sense when you think about it. Sigismund wanted to re-establish the power of the whole House of Luxembourg. He thought if he helped Wenceslas win the Imperial Crown, in return his brother would help him become the King of the Romans, and leave the actual reign of Bohemia and the Empire to him. Sigismund would govern, while Wenceslas could carry on doing what he was best at, enjoying the life of the Imperial Court. Why wasn't Wenceslas crowned Holy Roman Emperor long ago? He was already elected King of the Romans. All he had to do was go and let the Pope put the damn Imperial crown on his head. Who knows? Maybe he'd prefer hunting and consorting with bathhouse wenches to spending time with the Pope. Uh, so would I, I must admit. <laughs> Sigismund's plan seemed sound enough. But it didn't quite work, did it? It worked for a while. His brother reached an agreement. Sigismund took over administration of the kingdom and began planning Wenceslas's journey to Rome for the imperial coronation. But then Wenceslas realized he would just be a puppet with a crown. I must say, Margrave Yogs, Wenceslas and Prokop behaved rather like naughty children in need of a good clout about the ears. Sigismund would agree. He was already planning his rule of Bohemia, and all of a sudden, the rug was pulled from under him. I'd say he lost his patience and decided he'd drag Wenceslas to the coronation, kicking and screaming if he had to. Just like a naughty child, as you say. Cop too, if I heard correctly. Correct. And you helped him do it, if I heard correctly. Yes, your graces, it's true. I was there when Sigismund abducted Prokop. I thought everything could somehow be settled, that we could make my brother see sense. But Sigismund just wanted to put an end to the dispute once and for all, whatever the cost. There was nothing I could do to stop him. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. Ah. The worst of it is that it was all for nothing. Instead of putting a stop to the revolt, it escalated it, and the result is this chaos we have today. That's true enough, sir. But I must admit now, I'm not sure what your position is. The king is incompetent, but we must protect him? The simple truth, gentlemen, is that for all of Wenceslas's faults, we have no one else. So we'll have to make do with his idleness. Bleh. People like him, though. But what can we do now? Sigismund has the League of Lords behind him. Otto von Burgolf, Heinrich von Rosenberg... The situation has gotten completely out of control. Now even the nobles of the League of Lords are realizing that Sigismund wasn't the right choice. So now Burgolf is on your side. Are we to assemble an army together with him and face Sigismund on the field of battle? We're not in Hungary now. Such affairs may be settled elegantly, without unnecessary hostilities or expenses. I have negotiated an alliance with the Hungarian bishops, the Polish, and of course the Czech nobility, against Sigismund. Every day he is losing the ground under his feet, and that's why I need your help too. What kind of help though? Sigismund has a massive army, and Rosenberg, Burghoff, and Prague are behind him. Do you have an army you could face him with? But that's not what I mean at all. There's been a revolt against Sigismund in Hungary. Partly due to my efforts. And now he'll have to choose whether he wants to gain the Bohemian crown, which is a very risky enterprise, or hold on to the Hungarian one. He can't have both. And there's a tough struggle awaiting him in Hungary. I'm not sure he'll win. And Rosenberg and Burghoff know it too. They're not stupid. 
If the Bohemian nobility stands together, they will turn. We are men of little consequence, Margrave. Radzig here lost everything because of his alliance with Wenceslas. Sir Divish came within a hair of the same fate. Even Ratte is defenseless against Sigismund and the League of Lords. What's more, Your Grace, King Wenceslas languishes in captivity in Vienna. He can't rule too well from there. And what do you propose? To sit with your arms folded till the Bohemian lands are turned to ashes like scarlets? We have to put a stop to this senseless war. And do you know, sir, what the true position of the League of Lords is? I'm not on the best of terms with them at this moment, so you'll have to ask them yourselves. Yes. Why not? I'll go and visit Burgov at his castle and we'll see what he tells me. <laughs> you know, that's not such a bad idea, young sir. True. Though a little risky. I doubt Burgoff would harm a blue-blooded envoy. And you can find out what he has to say about developments and what the League of Lords is planning. Then we'll decide what to do next. I'll help you compose a letter to him. I'd like Henry to come with me. Why not? He's proven himself an able investigator, and he'll also be a good bodyguard if anything should happen. And I'll send Sir John here to Kutenberg to be my eyes and ears there. I believe both your reports will help us get a better grip on the situation. When can you set out? Just as soon as I've packed my things. Excellent. Our grave Jobs and I will draft the letter. Get ready, and we'll meet back here. Tak jest. So what do you think of it all, Sir Divish? I think I don't know what to think. So, it looks... Yes. I can't... I don't want to dampen your spirits, my boy, but watch out. Don't worry. I know. You've shown you can fend for yourself, but you'll be there to make sure nothing untoward happens to him. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears wide open. Rest assured, Father. And don't get embroiled in anything else. Just hand over the letter. Yes. Very well. Bergov is at Trotsky Castle. I think you'll find it quite an eye-opener. It's one of the finest. It's three days' ride from here, so unless you hit a snag along the way, you'll be back soon enough. I'm getting a bit lost in the Luxembourg lineage. The Luxembourgs have ruled the Empire and Bohemia. Wenceslas and Sigismund are... But instead, Wenceslas also had another brother. Who is he really? The cousin of King Wenceslas. He's the Margrave. Until recently, he was allied with the... I don't know what led him to do it, and one can't... But he really is the leader of the resistance. I'm a bit concerned so many people seem to think so little of King Wenceslas. Well, there's no straightforward answer. But he can be very fiery and impetuous when things don't go how... You can't just abscond. Who is this Prokop that Yob... Yob's brother, the king's cousin. He and Yob... Then, they were allies for a while betrayed Wenceslas and politics. <laughs> Make of it what you will. The League of Lords and that Burgoff were off. The Lords of the powerful houses. They abducted the king years ago. And but now it seems that Sigismund's behavior is starting to rub them up the wrong. I don't know all that much. He's the king's younger brother and king of Hungary in his own right. Seven years ago, he led a crusade. Some say it was due to the recklessness of the French knights. Most of Sigismund is ambitious. Not long ago, he and now this is how Sigismund rep Rupert of the Palatinate. Rupert is the prince elector of. What's a prince elect? The prince electors are dignitaries of the Holy Roman mm -hmm. Empire. Some of the nobility in the M. So, now we have. To that young man said... The Liechtensteins are a powerful Austrian family with estates in Austria and Moravia. Since the king's being held captive in Vienna, I suppose it makes sense to have a powerful Austrian house as... That's about all. Very well. <laughs> you think of it all. Finishujmy. What? 
Well, Henry, it cost me a lot of effort, but it seems I've finally succeeded in making... Are you wishing you stayed home at Ratai instead of joining in our nighttime venture? <laughs> you must be joking. I haven't had so much fun. It can't have been that much fun if I fell asleep. But you might have handled me a bit more gently. I'm black and blue all over. Oh, all right, then. Next time, I'll just leave you to Ishvan's tender mercies. Nonsense. What would you do without me? Anything for you, my lord. God be with you. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah! Learn to ride a horse, idiot! Yeah! Stay away from people if you can't ride a horse, you moron! Of course, I can't wait. So, to horse, my lord. What do you think about Sir Yobst and his plan? Well, I admit all the scheming has me a little lost. I thought Sigismund was the devil, Wenceslas a martyr, those on his side the heroes, and those against him the villain. I believed we'd rescue the king and all would be well again, but now it looks a lot more complicated. <laughs> exactly. I didn't expect the noble lords to be as noble as the angels, but I hadn't expected such a sewer. They behave like children. I can't fathom how after all this backstab they're somehow still on speaking terms. I don't know either. Beggar's belief. Did you know that King Wenceslas is such a... such a... Feckless drunkard. Not really. And to be honest, I'm not sure I wanted to know. I slept better believing my fate was watched over by a wise and powerful monarch. So did I. What a dismal world when you can't keep trust in your own king. On the other hand, times were better with him here than with him gone. Isn't that the truth? What do you think of Sigismund? If I were him, I'd have had enough of my brother even sooner. But he's a monster. Look at what those hordes of his are getting up to here. What he did in Scalitz. True enough. On the other hand, if Wenceslas and Prokop hadn't double-crossed him, none of this would have happened. No one forced him to burn Scalitz. That's a fact. But he couldn't let them shit all over him either. Not that I'm defending him. He's a weasel. No doubt about that. Do you know anything about Prokop? Ha! <laughs> Sir Hanish could tell you a thing or two about it. Why? Last winter, a certain Sir Jan Sokol of Lambert, a well-known knight, or robber baron to some, tried to occupy the city of Higla, which was on the orders of none other than Prokop. And what has that got to do with Hanish? Well, he was there with him. Of course that's not something to brag about in front of yachts. And what was it all about? They wanted to occupy a city that was on the side of the League of Lords, but despite them being several hundred strong, they didn't take it. For one thing, they couldn't get past the Eglau women. 
with their pitchforks and cauldrons of hot water. <laughs> I would never have thought of Sahana as such a rebel. And have you heard anything about Rupert of the Palatinate? A little. He can't manage even to wrest power from a king who doesn't much care for ruling and isn't fighting back. That doesn't seem like a man who has what it takes to rule. And that's all I need to know. Yeah. And that Burgoff we're going to see, do you know anything about him? I haven't heard much good about him, but I have a feeling that some other nobles are quite in awe of him. And his castle is apparently quite impressive. I'll be interested to see for myself. And what about the League of Lords? Wealthy, pompous, the king. Yeah. Idź za panem ptasz. I'll get to see more of the country and have quite.
Let's get to it then. I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. We're helping to save the king. Instead of saving his drunken majesty, I'd rather find that horse than who murdered my parents. Get the sword back from him and skewer him with it. Cheer up, Henry. I have a feeling you'll get your chance one day, and it won't be long in coming. Forward, men! Audentes fortuna, you must! Action! Koniec. Koniec przygody. Dzieleczka oddania odcinka. Mam nadzieję, że się 8 na 10 na łapkuncie. Napiszcie komentarz. Do zobaczenia. Do następnej serii. Lub w kolejnym odcinku. Cześć, cześć.